but a huge debt of gratitude that we, we must say a really, really big thank you to everybody that's worked so hard on this because it's no small thing, really. There's a lot of planning and logistics involved and timetable changes and uh, reorganisation of space to be able to put in place the sort of things that look quite straightforward today. So things aren't going to be massively different in appearance, but the way in which you operate within the space, the way in which movement is managed, has been very carefully thought through and it's been an awful lot of hard work. What, what What's happening here in Bewhaven works for them, but we've got a whole range of different schools in Cornwall, big ones, little ones, all sorts of different circumstances. And they've all had to think through how their space works, how their situation works, to come up with plans that make sense for them. Parents should talk to their schools. It's really, really important that relationship is strong. So if you have some questions and concerns, chances are somebody else might have asked a similar question and the school has got the answer. But absolutely start with talking to your school. If you're on social media, a lot of schools have been very strong on putting out the messaging around what they're doing for reopening on their own social media and have communicated with with parents that way and actually quite responsive and answering questions that people have asked on Facebook so it's it's worth checking out that some people have done virtual tours that you can see of of what looks different in school 